Item number, SCP-541. Object class, neutralized. Special Containment Procedures SCP-541 was kept in a plain pine wood coffin, some 1.98 meters or 6.5 feet in length, and with a stereotypical hexagonal construction. The lid to this coffin was kept affixed by means of four padlocks, for relatively easy access to its contents. Keys were in the possession of the on-site Level 3 technician heading research on SCP-541. SCP-541 could be removed from its coffin with care. The coffin could be moved with minimal limitations, and security measures proved by and large suitable for continued containment and storage of SCP-541. Description SCP-541 was discovered in Peru in 1988, in the crypt of a local Catholic mission. The mission had been repurposed for several decades, and at the time of SCP-541's discovery, was being converted into a youth hostel. The crypt beneath was being cleared for storage, with the corpses within being reburied locally. SCP-541 was discovered when the workers moving the coffin containing SCP-541 noticed wet noises coming from within. Investigation revealed SCP-541 led to local hysteria, then a brief fanatical following of SCP-541, believing it to be supernatural or possibly saintly akin to incorruptibility. The resultant attention led to a cursory investigation by our agents, followed by a total media blackout, confiscation of SCP-541, and extermination of those close to the object. SCP-541 is an intact set of human thoracic organs, including the lungs, heart, digestive system, etc. Notably, the organs operate in a grotesque but accurate imitation of an ordinary human body. Blood pumped, the esophagus performed peristalsis, and it appeared that the organism as a whole did not decay like normal organs did. What happened to SCP-541's original owner, if there was one, is unknown. The digestive system did operate normally, though there was apparently no need for food. SCP-541 had been sealed for at least several decades before its discovery. Also notable is that the entire system was closed. That is, there was no evidence of blood vessels ever pumping to extremities outside of a general abdominal area, and no indications of body structures, e.g. ligaments, nerves, membranes, indicating that a more complete organism was ever intact. Various experiments were performed on SCP-541 to determine more about it and try to assess any use or adaptation for its unique structure. No container beyond the original pine box was deemed necessary. Document number 5411. Blood was drawn from SCP-541 system in small quantities to reflect the amount of blood estimated to be present in the system. The sterile needle wound healed itself through an apparently normal white blood cell platelet mechanism and after several repeated intermittent blood drawings, researchers approximated that the blood replaced itself, again, akin to a normal human body. Document number 5412. Application of basic, easily digestible and nourishing food products to the open esophagus of SCP-541 prove the digestive system works normally, including excretion. Document number 5413. Introduction of various stimulants including caffeine, into scp 541 system show that the subject responds predictably for its weight and condition. Documents number 5414 through 13. Assorted tests to determine more about nervous communication among the component parts of SCP-541. Various scans of the subject to try and learn more about its composition. And a brief battery of measurements to try and compare SCP-541 to the profiles of average, complete humans in an attempt to learn more about or approximate its age, height, weight, and health. For details on these reports, please contact Dr. Document number 54114. Director approves attempts to grow SCP-541, including hormone and steroid introductions, as well as attempts to culture SCP-541 cells. Results prove inconclusive on all counts, and testing continues. 
Documents number 54115 through 18. Further testing on SCP-541, concurrent to orders outlaid in document number 54114. Results continue to be inconclusive. Some cultures prove promising enough to continue research in the present direction. Document number 54119. During continued growth testing, SCP-541 goes into arrest and cannot be revived. Following its death, the remains of SCP-541 dissolve into a fine powder within minutes. Cultures stagnate, and no clones of SCP-541 are produced. Addendum Lab technician administered a drug dose appropriate for a normal human being of the age, height, weight, and fitness of SCP-541, as determined by tests recounted in document number 54112 and 13. This proved fatal to SCP-541, as the subject was not a complete organism, and the dosage should have been adjusted accordingly. Technician was reprimanded and moved to bottom-level duties, with restricted opportunities for advancement and promotion. Addendum Fine powder that remains of SCP-541 and coffin are contained at storage site there has been discussion of attempting to reassemble SCP-541 by the use of SCP-914, but some concerns have been expressed about whether or not the powdered remains of SCP-541 represent the entirety of the subject, and whether or not it would be able to survive the shock of reanimation. Lesson Complete If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-540, Tannenbaums, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.